piles are just the tip of the iceberg. If we don't take care, our bottoms could be facing much worse problems. Dr Pixie went on a mission to a rural fair in Staffordshire to educate a group of country folk about their bowels. The average age of a farmer is nearly 60, which is also the time in life when we should be on the lookout for signs of bowel cancer. It's the third most common cause of cancer in the UK. But the good news is, if detected early, treatment is really successful. In fact, four in five people with bowel cancer who detect it at an early stage successfully recover from the disease. But if the tumour is very advanced when it's diagnosed, fewer than one in 20 people will recover from it. Which is why the NHS is starting to roll out a bowel cancer screening programme throughout the UK. And this is the kind of kit they'll be using. It's simple, easy to use, and although it doesn't actually diagnose bowel cancer, it gives a very early indication of potential problems. Smear some poo on the inside of these little collection things, and you would do that for three consecutive days. Send that through the post. Then. And then you send it through the post. There's a stamp. Sorry for the postman. <laughs> When it comes to our bowels, we seem to get a bit squeamish. A study found that 43% of us would be embarrassed to talk to our doctor about any problems with our bowels. Maybe that's because getting to the bottom of possible problems with our digestive system can seem quite an intrusive business. And traditionally, that would involve using one of these. Thankfully for me, technology has made things an awful lot smaller. Oh, hey there. I'm Christian. Hello. Dr. Christian volunteered to have his entire digestive system investigated by using a small piece of technology which has changed the way we look at our bodies. This tiny camera, no bigger than a large pill, was about to embark on a fantastic voyage inside Dr. Christian's body. And wash it right down into the stomach. The camera kept taking pictures of the inside of Dr. Christian's body for the next seven hours and transmitted them to a recorder before eventually popping out the other end and disappearing for good down the toilet hole. But the images were stored on the recorder and quickly available for diagnosis. Can you take me on a whistle-stop tour of my gut then? Yes, let, if we go right back. So let's see the highlights. And these are the, the last images of the stomach. And in this image, you can actually see the opening from the stomach into the duodenum. So this is the valve that controls food leaving the stomach going on into the small intestine. That's right. yeah. Yes, yes. Down around the duodenal loop and from now on we get really very good images of, of the small intestine. Along the edges of the folds you can see finger-like villi. So it's these fingers yep. that increase the surface area exactly of so. our intestine. So exactly. there's masses of area to absorb yes. the nutrients through. The camera's incredible journey through Dr. Christian's guts is nearly over. So what conclusions can be drawn? Good specimens of villi, would you say? Oh, well, excellent. I have to say, amongst the finest villi that I've ever seen. Oh, well. Wow.